starting to see that, you know, now he's you know, not quite as strong. The knockout streak is over. But uh, he can box really, really, really well. But Majumov pressed pressing the whole fight. So obviously the, the power wasn't getting the respect that, that uh, um, he, he might have gotten when he was a little uh, at, at the smaller weight classes. And remember, Canelo is a guy who presses a lot. That's like one thing Canelo does. Canelo's not very active. He gets in your face and he mentally presses you a lot by cutting off the ring and getting in your face. So I start to wonder if, 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 if going up to super middleweight is, uh, is going to be a bridge too far for Crawford. But hey, man, he got the win, and I, I guess that's going to be the, the talking point from now as well. But uh, kudos to Madrimov. I, I think he showed himself to be a world-class fighter. Not that we didn't know he was, but really showed himself to be a world-class fighter. Tonight. This fight was very, very close. Well, of course, uh, the chat is open on YouTube. If you offer, Did you ever think that was in doubt? Was there any time this was in question for you throughout the fight? The scorecards were kind of all over the place getting into the later rounds. Yeah, no, I know. I thought Madrimov was playing the fight early on. I, I, I think that Crawford was not busy enough early on. Um, I think Madrimov's uh, skill level, like you said, champ, and, and he showed that he's on a level. I thought that was a very high level. Man, the last time Crawford was losing a fight in the beginning of a fight was when he fought Gamboa at 135 pounds. Later on, he knocked Gamboa out, though. Chess match between both of these guys. Very hard to see a, a clean landed punch, um, especially in the first eight rounds of the fight. But I thought Madrimov was uh, controlling the pace. If you looked early on, our uh, our compatriot Sean Porter had a really, really great um, insight early on. He said something about about the, you know the, the, the fighters are short, they keep resetting, they keep resetting and they, because they were keep resetting each other's rhythm. Because I didn't realize Madrimov was that much of a rhythm fighter. I mean, yeah, obviously he's got that movement, he's got that in and out, he's got that roll, whatever, but he was setting a pace and a rhythm very early on. And you could see Crawford trying. Yeah, he's a, a rhythm fighter. What y'all think about Canelo? Canelo counterpunch like Mayweather, man. But he bigger and he hit harder. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I don't even want Crawford to fight Canelo, man. Leave that alone. You know who Crawford should fight? That, that, that's, that's just as, hey man, I think, I think Crawford should fight Virgil Ortiz. I think he should fight Virgil Ortiz, man. Virgil Ortiz Jr. Virgil Ortiz Jr., that boy ain't no joke, man. I'm here to tell you, he ain't no joke. Ain't too many, ain't too many, the boy's special, and it's gonna take somebody else special to beat him. You feel me? Terrence Crawford, he is a, a generational talent, but I, I just think that it is a chance that you can move up too far. But with him only, with him starting off at 135, you know, if he is truly that generational talent, like Mayweather, like Pacquiao, I feel like he should be able to go up to at least 160 pounds. Maybe not 168 and fight Canelo, but he should be able to get up to 100. And 60 pounds. He should be able to become at least a five division champion. Manny Pacquiao was seven division champion. Uh, De La Hoya, six division champion. Floyd Mayweather, five division champion. So if he is a divisional, if he is one of those generational talents, when it looked like he truly is, he should be able to go up to 160 and win and win one more division. And it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of big fights for him that can be for him at 160. Even if a few of those 168ers come by down, they just moved up like, like you got. No, that won't work. There really ain't nobody. But you got, uh, you got Jamal still there. You got, uh, Carlos, Adamus, you got, uh, ain't really no big, big names at 160, but it still be good on his resume, man. It still enhance his legacy. You feel me? So y'all leave a comment below. Do y'all really think that Terrence Crawford should, should keep trying to move up, move up and wait? Just to chase Canelo Alvarez and 
mess up his legacy, or should he just you know, conquer the 154 division, become undisputed there, which in itself alone would be a record that it's one person out there now who's in this is trying to trying to do that. You know, he said he want to be undisputed at 147, 154, 160, 168. He's a much bigger boy than than, than Terrence Crawford. He, he he started off at the 147 and he's a big 147. So y'all leave your comments below. Hit the bell. I'll let you boy.